Hey guys, I'm coming back to y'all with another video. I just did like a whole video, but I didn't like how long it took. So this one's gonna be a little shorter version of that video that I just did, but it's basically on the exterior and interior aftermarket lights that I've done to this truck and what it makes, what makes it so unique, I feel in my opinion, or just makes it look cool, I guess. So let's get to it. I'm not looking at the camera. If I'm looking to the side, but not looking at the camera, I'm still like new to this. Not new to it, but a little rusty. It's kind of weird looking at the camera because it's like the camera's looking at me, but I'm looking at the camera and it's like, it's like a stare off contest. I'm looking at nothing right now, but a camera. So it's weird, but here we go. I'm going to show you all the lights. Let's get to it. So guys, here's the truck. Um, if you guys know these trucks, they're Chevy OBS's, um, 90s. But um, with these 90s trucks, as you can see, the lip right there with those lights does not come like that. The tow mirrors do not come like that. It's all aftermarket. So, so right here, I've got the underglow. We're actually gonna be replacing those here soon. I don't know when though. And it's because every time I hit a bump or whatever, the box jumps and all the colors stop working except for green and red those are the only two colors that work and i like to run purple and white and this is supposedly supposed to be the white but it's not a white so we're gonna get rid of these um i'll probably give them to my friend or whatever i don't know but um we're gonna get new ones and the white actually shines white the purple actually shines purple. It shines the full color. It's not a RGB like looking effect where it's mixed colors to make one color. So that's gonna be coming here soon. They'll be a lot brighter than this. As far as I know from the pictures that I've seen, they're 10 times brighter than this. So I'm excited about that. Um, what else do we got here? We got the tow mirrors. These tow mirrors are aftermarket. I actually had to wire them up through the door, through the garment, into the cabin, and then under the truck for the reverse lights. So these are running lights, turn signals. And I also have the turn signals in here, the little dots right there that you can see, those do light up too when they turn. And these are reverse lights. They are so bright, bro, so bright. So I have those um like i said those are aftermarket i saw a picture of a guy that had a truck just like mine and he did these but white and i was like bro how did you do those and he told me and i went ahead and did them and i just think it looks it just brings out the truck a lot more it gives it a mean front end look and then all the headlights are aftermarket too we come here to the back we are in the back aftermarket um brake lights we got an aftermarket third tailgate light and then aftermarket um third brake light up there now that brake light the one that i had the stock one it did not light up at all and i was confused i was like well i don't want to get a new one and it not work but when i got this new one it actually worked with the cargo lamp and everything so that was a good thing and we come in here to the truck so i have those front lip lights hooked up to a toggle switch and then my star headliner is hooked up to a toggle switch too. All blue because as you can see, I'm going with the blue theme in here. Everything used to be that standard green look. Obviously we cannot roll with that. So I went with blue. So everything is blue in here. Even window switches. And then we got the star headliner. We got the feet light, of course. That's like the one mod everybody does with their car if they want to have that vibe at night when they're driving and then i have them in the back too the back seats but and then then one of the things that i get asked a lot is how to hook these up i'll probably do a separate video on that but right now i have glow shift gauges i have an oil pressure and what made me get these gauges i've always wanted aftermarket gauges like this so yes these are glow shift gauges i mainly got them because i actually needed the oil pressure gauge and i was like you know what let's get the whole kit so i got oil pressure trans temp and voltage and the reason why i needed the oil pressure was because my gas gauge is doing that 360 or back to four so it hits the oil pressure and just 
it got all funkied out so it's like all messed up tweaked out so i had to replace it with the aftermarket gauge and then with the gas gauge it works at full and it works at empty but anywhere in the middle it just does that 360 thing if you guys got an old truck like this you guys know what i mean but yeah that's basically the video i know that was quick that wasn't really nothing much of a video but i said i would give you all a round about of what i've done to the truck and this is just basically on leds like lighting wise and one of the other things that i'm thinking about doing besides the rock lights is wheel lights so they're wheel ring lights that go behind the dust cover of the brakes right there and on top of that i'm gonna have to take the drum off so i can eyeball it to get the wheel ring light on i don't know if i'm gonna do that right now i just thought it'd be pretty cool because i have my spokes are wide open so it'd be a pretty cool look to it and my truck's on 20 by 12s if you guys are asking but that's basically it for this video um just this video alone but yeah that's that's the truck and it's aftermarket led lights and everything that i've done i've had nobody do my lighting for me um those bottom lights i actually had my dad end up helping me with those but everything else I did myself and I don't know anything about wiring. I just learned as I went from YouTube videos and just my dad in general. Um, but it's not hard stuff. Like honestly, you don't really have to take it. So honestly, you really don't have to take your car to somebody to get these, this kind of stuff done because it's gonna cost you so much for those rock lights alone it would have cost me a couple hundred dollars just to have them installed and i did them myself so all i spent was a hundred dollars in reality if you had somebody do these you would have paid like 600 maybe even more than that i don't even know but it's simple stuff like if you really put time and effort into something like that you can learn it on your own like you don't need to pay somebody to do any of this. Those toe mirrors, I did myself. Um, the headlights had to be wired into the truck itself. I did those myself by watching YouTube videos, trying to figure out which wire was which. And then the gauges, I wired those up myself too. And I thought those were gonna be hard, but it's just simple stuff like that. You just gotta dedicate your time to look up youtube videos and do it and you can do it like i when i started buying all this stuff i was like i'm probably gonna have to pay somebody to do it but then i was like no i don't i don't want to spend like hundreds of dollars to pay people to do it so i ended up looking up youtube videos and doing it myself like in here i have i've hooked up both of my subs my head unit those gauges these mirrors and these headlights and those bottom lip lights so like i said like it's not it's not rocket science is what i'm trying to say like you can do it if you really want to but instead of me rambling on and whatnot um i'm probably gonna end this video and i'll get better as i go i used to do vlogs and as i kept doing more and more videos i got better at looking at the camera and doing the videos like i'm trying to look at the camera right now and it's so weird like i look i i have to look away it's like doing a eye staring contest with somebody right now so yeah i'm gonna end this video um the next video will be on all the other stuff that i've done but yeah until next time, thank you for all the other people that watched my last video. I think I had like 55 views on that video, which I was kind of shocked. It was like in a three day time span. So thank you for watching my video. And like I said, I'll get better as I go. I'll start looking more at the camera. I need to use my tripod. I'm using my hand right now. So it's, it's, not, it's not good. My arm's getting tired right now. So yeah, until next time. Thank you again, guys. Last thing before ending this video, this truck is such a vibe to drive in. 
on the freeway at nighttime, whether there's minimal street lighting, like so it's dark light, dark light, or it's just pitch black. It's such a vibe driving this thing at night because you got the star headliner, you got the feet glow. I kind of wish these weren't that bright because if these weren't that bright, it'd be a little better because it keeps the darkness in this truck. Sometimes I turn off the feet light, the headliner, and then I turn off both of these toggle switches. And then with all these lights, it's just a vibe. It is just a vibe driving this thing with some music and everything because you got the gauges, you got everything that is blue. I kind of wish that was blue, but it came with the standard green and then the red for on and off, but it's such a vibe. I love it. I won't be doing this to the new car that I'm thinking about getting. Um, not the star headliner, maybe the feet light and maybe the cluster and everything, but I don't know about the gauges. I don't know about, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that, but basically it's just a vibe. Now I'm gonna end the video. Uh, you just saw me almost drop the phone, but now I'm gonna end the video. Thank you again, guys, for watching my last video and watching this video. Like I said, I will get better at this. I've said that like five times right now. I guess I'm just nervous, like, because I haven't done this in a long time. Like I said, I used to vlog and I used to be really good at it, but I need to start using my tripod. I need to start looking at the camera. And then you start getting more confident on it. And then I'll be a lot better at the video. So until next time, thank you again, guys.